Hello and welcome to my basic soldier guide for Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. So what we're going to be doing is going over the basic attacks, uh, what they're good for, as well as the class abilities. So in the previous uh, video where I covered the fighter, I neglected to mention there is a like a like a charging bar at the bottom that the more you attack, the more it builds up, and then once it reaches like once it's filled up, your X your X attack basically creates like a like an earth attack that deals bonus damage and launches further, and probably breaks more stun gauge. Uh, but somebody did point that out, and I do appreciate that. Uh, but for this video, I definitely made sure to look up all the basic things for the soldier. So the soldier is fairly simple. You have your basic chains. So you can see here you have your like your Y Y Y like the first three Y attacks for most classes is just kind of like a basic combo that deals slightly increasing damage as it goes. Uh, it has like a little bit of a radius for the damage. You can see it's like kind of in front of me, which is what you'd expect because they're kind of like sweeping attacks. And then the basic Y Y Y Y ends with a downward slam that knocks enemies back, and then you have your X attack, which is like this thrust. So the X attack can be spammed. There's a lot to do with this X attack. So you might notice that my spear is changing colors as I'm doing it. Uh, this thing can break, you can see here, it can break stun gauge pretty gradually. Uh, even though like you're getting a bunch of hits in, it won't break it necessarily super fast. This dude's also more resistant because it's a we're hitting a weakness you know we're hitting an axe user so we're, we're, be, we're getting weapon triangled right now uh, but in some instances it can break stun gauge pretty fast in this case we're not going to see that because of the weapon weakness uh, however some things you should note about this attack this attack will get you hit a lot especially if you're not used to it the reason for that is it inherently overcommits. so if like you keep spamming x you'll do it for a very long time and start getting hit so you have to use it when you know you can use it. And there's essentially four stages to this. There's the zero stage, where your spear has no aura around it. There'll be like a colored aura. In this case, you just do like a thrust forward and push enemies back. And then there's the white phase, or I'm sorry, the yellow phase. So there's yellow, then there's orange, which does more damage and more pushback. So there's orange, and then there's red, which takes a while to charge up. And to throw it, you let go of X. So you just stop spamming. So you could kind of open up with like a launcher. And if you actually launch the enemy in question. In this case, it's like a monk and we weren't able to get the launch off. But, you know, when you get that launch off, you can combo with it pretty easily. So that's like the big, that's the big ability for Soldier. It's that like over committing X attack, which can be good. Uh, it takes some getting used to, but it can be good. So that's like the whole thing. Uh, and then for your basic attacks, you have your basic YX, which is a launcher. This is standard for every kit as far as I can tell, at least so far. Uh, then you have your YYX, which is kind of like a damage launcher. Um, well, it kind of like pushes things back. It doesn't necessarily launch. Kind of just like ground slams for some damage. And then, then you have your YYYX, which I actually really like this ability because it has good burst damage. So the big reason, the big upside of this is it gets pretty big burst damage off. You can see there I went from 225 to like 445 damage. So that's like 200 damage in the ground slam. Damage compression is always good in any video game, no matter what it is. Being able to deal burst damage is always something you want. So like over committing like this, I'm gonna be getting hit while doing an attack like this. You can see there the enemy just interrupted me. Whereas if I were to start a chain, and then come down and smack the actual enemy I wanna hit, I can build up that burst. So I think this is a little bit more viable. Uh, in some situations, it can be useful. Like in here, if you can get it started. Yeah, so this is the exact use case, right? For this X attack. And then you can build up the red, get a massive spike off. See if you can get a launcher going. So that's the use case. You want to use X when you have the opportunity. It's not something you should be spamming. And by and by X, I mean like basic X, where you're just doing this thrust attack. X attacks are really good in general for like opening enemies up and creating opportunities to combo. 
Okay, so we went over all the spear stuff, the commitment issues. Let's go over, let's just show the A attack. Just very, very standard, crazy ability that does tons of damage. <laughs> it's just, you know, they all just hit for absurd damage and just nuke things. All right, let's go over the basic starting abilities. So we have Wheel Sweep and Earth Splitter on Purpal here, which is Shez. So this one, you can see the Might is medium, so a little bit more damage, durability 15. Kind of on the, not like a super long cooldown, but 12 seconds is on the longer side. Most, yeah, like this one you can see has eight. Uh, so pretty, pretty wide area, pretty good damage. And we'll show these in a second, and then this one, I like the description, uh, perform an air to ground plunging thrust. So you're gonna, they're like the toilets and you have to plunge them to their doom. All right, so let's let's check these ads. Let's check out wheel. Let's wait for an enemy to spawn first, like an actual thing. Here we go. All right, let's check out wheel sweep. Okay, so that's pretty good. So it's pretty good at creating distance. Oh yeah, it's a cooldown. I'm gonna try to use it again. That's a pretty good ability. The fact that it can create distance like that, especially if you actually plan on running like a mage or something, you could just use that really quickly to knock things off your mage and switch back to your mage. Uh, that can be a great zoning tool for like switching characters. Uh, next we have Earth Splitter. So there's the plunging motion. Let's just try to get it again. So here it is. Pretty good. Pretty good downward plunging attack. Here's the X. Just basic, you know, spam. All the X attacks kind of look the same to me, even though it's like different weapons. It all seems to be like a similar type of uh, thing. Alright, let's switch to Ferdinand, because he actually has this mastered, so he'll have the fifth attack. So you get a fifth attack, a fifth basic attack when you master a class, so... One, two, three, four, five. So that's the fifth attack. So definitely some increased damage there. It's like noticeable. It's pretty noticeable to be honest. Um, so now he's. I think he's less. No, no, he's actually higher level as well. I forgot. I don't use Shez on this uh, playthrough that much. Let's see. All right, he has Night Kneeler, so Let's check that out. This is going to be really good against cav cavalry. I always I always called cavalry, but it's like Mount Calvary. Cavalry. All right. So here's here's that. It's just kind of like a big stab. Let's kind of set it up again if we can. One thing that's good to do too, if you want to like play around with your cooldowns, is if you can like waste time by like juggling something, that can get your cooldowns to come back. Uh, not faster, but it buys time, which uh, gives you the opportunity to use your cooldowns. All right, here's Night Kneeler. Okay, I want to see what kind of damage it does. So I'll just like hit. I'll just try to hit a guy. There's all these stones around, so you can test your abilities, which is nice. I'm just gonna keep running around <laughs> until we can stab him. Hopefully, he doesn't block it. Sometimes I just block stuff. Holy shit! Oh yeah, Sword Buster as well. But still, dude, that hit for 1k. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So if you want to just completely destroy something, especially like a, a mounted unit on a horse, a, a cavalry, I don't know why I keep thinking it's cavalry. Uh, there is a difference. Uh, definitely use Night Kneeler. And you can, I love how, I love how the, mar, the might, it says large. Instead of high and low and medium, it says small, medium, and large. And then also breaks opponent's guard. That's huge. Uh, effective against mounted. So th this combo is quite massive. The cooldown on this thing is insane and the durability is quite high. But this, if you hit an enemy horse unit with this, this is going to destroy them pretty effectively. So this is something that, that I would definitely run. Like some of these abilities, it's just like w with like basic fire emblem, right? Like with three houses. You have all these different abilities that counter enemy units. You want those, right? Like, you don't want just straight-up damage in most cases, because having the flexibility to counter things is almost always better than damage. And as long as you account for, like, 90 to 95% of situations, like, you know, sometimes there'll be, like, that 5% where you don't have a weakness, maybe. But 
if you have four deployed units with weapons that typically counter things and then abilities that counter more things, you should have enough counters to cover most enemy types and most builds and most classes. So Knight Kneeler, like as, as you know, the actual game ships and we play the game more, I would say Knight Kneeler is going to, like things like this are what's going to be actually run. Uh, because dealing some more bonus damage, while it is good, usually isn't as good as just rapidly killing something in like for like a few seconds. That's so much better because, especially when there's going to be like time pressure, because some of the maps you have to kill like reinforcements in like under three minutes, you're going to want to be able to spike them down. You're going to want to conserve your weapon durability, just spike things down with counters, and that seems like very obvious to me because that's how Three Houses is as well. Um, and then obviously you can see here that Smurmandon's weak to us. Because it's a sword user. And we can just like destroy it easily. So we can get our cool, cool attack off. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the basic soldier guide. I'm going to try to make sure I know as much as I can, if not everything, before I do these videos. Even though the game hasn't released yet. Uh, this is just like the basic guide. It's not like advanced. I'm not showing anything crazy. Honestly, I think the base classes don't need an advanced guide because you're only going to be in them for like a few levels anyways. Then you're going to transition into an advanced class. So the, the advanced classes, like as you level up, will be, will, those will require more like, like, you know, testing. So like these intermediate advanced master classes, because you're going to be in these for a while, right? Like it, it's, and, it, and this is true in three houses as well. Like the beginner classes, you're not in for very long. So, a lot of the time will be spent covering every single class in detail. Uh, I'll have to test them out a lot and make sure I understand all of their abilities. But from what I understand, uh, for like, uh, not soldier, but for a uh, fighter, I think brigand is basically just like the same thing as a fighter, where its class ability is similar. Uh, it's either that or... Oh, let me see. Let me go to... What's her face? Edelgard. Armored Lord. Okay, so her abilities... If you look at her abilities. Armored Lord. She has, like, the... Oh, no, I'm thinking of Hilda. Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me pull up Hilda. That's who I'm thinking of. Where's Hilda? Oh, wait, this is the wrong... <laughs> I'm on the wrong account. I'm like, where's Hilda? It's like, this is the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, but Hilda... Hilda's advanced class... I think it's Brigand. I'm pretty sure it's Brigand. It has, like, two meters. So it's just, like, fighter, but, like, a little bit more added to it. And then her basic attacks are a little bit different. So like the advanced classes, intermediate classes, they have variations of the base class attacks and they get more complicated. And obviously that would mean, you know, different combo chains and different strategies. Uh, but for now, I think that's good for Soldier. I just need to cover Myrmidon, which is actually quite simple. It just has this like X charge ability. Um, and then one other thing I can go over really quick is, let's see, where's it at? Set abilities? No. Change class, yeah, change class, and then hit Y, Y, okay. So you can see here, the different soldiers have different abilities. This is true of every unit. So reduced chance of getting knocked back, lance prowess, wheel sweep. So if we like go through, oops, I keep like hitting the wrong button. There's like so many, there's so much UI here. Here we go. All right, so if we go to Edelgard, you can see she has similar abilities. So like, just like with a lot of the classes, depending on the unit, so go to actual, let's see what cast bars is. Backbone, Lance Prowess. So sometimes it is exactly the same. Sometimes that is the case. It looks like for Soldier, that is the case. Like some, some people get like plus two, some people get like bows, like bow mastery, things like this. Especially for fighter, where the like branches off, but soldier seems like it's more simple. Oh, that's interesting. HP plus five hundred. So cool. Yeah. So there's definitely different. Each each unit has like slightly different things, even in the base classes. So definitely check that out to kind of like min max and to understand what your class or what your character actually gets from being a certain class. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this or found this useful, definitely like the video and subscribe. It greatly helps. Uh, you can also drop a comment, let me know what you think about the game so far, uh, any interesting tactics you use on Soldier, what your favorite units are to put on Soldier, and what your favorite classes are in general. I'm curious to see what people think. Uh, so far I'm really liking Pegasus Knight and Cav is really fun. I like mobility in games, so the fact that you can play as a Pegasus Knight is pretty sick, so I'm pretty hyped about that. 
Um, looking forward to covering the advanced classes because this game gets pretty nuts and it seems like it's going to be a hard game that's going to be really fun. So based on what I've found or what I've observed in the demo. So yeah, that's it for this. Thanks for checking us out and peace.